So as you guys can see, I'm not in my garage. I'm actually in a much bigger garage. That's cause I started my, my job as a loop tech. Now, I've been here for about a week and I'll tell you one thing. Being a loop tech is not being a loop tech. Actually, they had me doing all kinds of jobs. I mean, nothing too major. I did lower a truck, which that was sweet. Replacing some struts, some interior bits, um, some vehicle HVAC, refurbishing running boards, stuff like that. But let me tell you one thing. What I have learned is that this is a lot of fun. Um, I know I told you guys in my last video that I always wanted to do this. And I'll give you a little bit of background. A year and a half ago, I was actually a personal banker at a regional bank sitting in a back office doing home equity line of credit, um, mortgage refinances, checking accounts, that stuff. And it was driving me crazy. Being in an office staring at a computer is no way to live. But I'll tell you what, coming into work, getting your hands dirty, creating something out of nothing, it's satisfying, unfulfilling. Um, as you can see, my little tool cart here, we showed you this in the last video and it's gone through a lot of changes. Thanks in part to your guys' suggestions. I took an account for everything you guys had told me and I started building a shopping list, to, list for Harbor Freight. Now right now me and Harbor Freight we kind of have a love-hate relationship and we're going to get into that. I have some things planned to go over about Harbor Freight. I love it, but you're going to be going there a lot and not just for the deals. Anyway, that's for a future video. All right, so after one week of work, how has my little baby tool cart grown? Well, it's grown quite a bit. In part, thanks to you guys, the guys here at the shop, which some of you may know, and just finding out what I need to get the job done. So we're gonna take a look. Now, like I said, I started a shopping list at Harbor Freight, and I was not prepared for the kind of deals I was gonna get. When you start getting a shopping list together, and then you start looking at coupons, everything here from Harbor Freight, I probably got for about a hundred bucks. And we're gonna pick all those little bits and bobs out so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. We'll start right on top on the lid. Little $2 Pittsburgh magnetic tray. Super handy. I need about six more. I can already tell you that. And then what's really nice about Harbor Freight, the freebies. That's right, just a little freebie light that I also have on the lid here. And then I got a full tool, a uh, full screwdriver set from Harbor Freight. Also super cheap using a coupon. I had plenty of screwdrivers, but why not just outfit the entire box with new tools for work and I can keep my tools at home. So that, I mean, that screwdriver set came with some Phillips head, came with some star bits. And then these are tools that I brought like on the last video, some snips, as well as some needle noses. And then the top tray here, basically tools that you grab all day, every day. Got a little half inch breaker bar. Well, that's not gonna wanna go back in as easy. And then some more Harbor Freight specials. Half inch ratchet with the extendable neck. So again, it can kind of double as a breaker bar, but um, I'm gonna make a future video talking about this ratchet and something else in particular so stay tuned for that like I said Harbor Freight it's a love-hate relationship two ratchets that have done me well pivoting head 3 8 very nice to have and then just a standard quarter inch now you've seen that on the last video my impact the wall came from home I have the big set um, I'll be changing that out soon enough just so I can take this one back home and I just got this today, actually. Nothing too fancy. It's not your Milwaukee or anything like that, but it was on special. I got it cheap. It's going to do for now, and it's doing really good so far. I actually like that it's way, way lighter than the Milwaukee's. Uh, it's a tool that I can actually use for extended periods of time and not wear out my little dainty hands. So again, my, scri my strip nut, sockets, um, these trays, Again, got at Harbor Freight, coupon for those. I think it was a couple packs for like six bucks a piece. These impacts are super nice, not from Harbor Freight. Actually, those are from SP Tools. That I'm gonna get into as well. Um, I'm really grateful to have these, and you guys will find out why soon enough. 
the sockets I've had, uh, cheapy Blue Hawks. I think Blue Hawk is that Lowe's, I think. And then some more sockets. Not sure what these are. Pittsburgh. Imagine that. Harbor Freight sockets in this toolbox. Who would have guessed it? And then my quarter inch. Those are Blue Hawk as well from Lowe's. All those are Blue Hawk. And then I got the pivoting heads. Um, getting into different little crannies around in cars. I knew I was going to need those. So I picked them up while I was there. A continuation of that screwdriver set. Flathead on this side. As well as a quarter inch socket driver. And this is just a set of some different bits that you may need. Some star bits. Some square head bits. Phillips flat. And some little sockets. Those kind of live right there. The pocket pile. Put your knife in your pocket. That magnetic flat head. Huh? Every mechanic has it. And then a flash drive. I have been looking around. I'm about to pick up like a five pack of these because you constantly use it all day long. That's something I wasn't, I kind of guess I knew it was going to happen, but I wasn't completely prepared for that as a mechanic, you constantly use a flash flashlight. And then some uh, Pittsburgh extensions. I had some extensions, but it was such a good deal, like 10 bucks for all of these. Why not just pick them all up and toss them in here? My drawer, this is just a little power screwdriver. Um, I don't know, handy for interior parts, stuff like that. Things you don't really want to use an impact for. Owner's manual and warranty for the rigid. I need to take care of that. Got another cheap wrench set from Harbor Freight, of course. And I picked it up because it looked like a good big set for really cheap. The problem is it's not the right size for anything. I've hardly used that wrench set. I've had to grab wrenches out of my buddy's toolboxes to get anything done. So that's kind of wasted money. It may have only been like 14, 15 bucks, but that's 14 or 15 bucks right down the drain. Of course, the headlamp that I had, this is just a little tray full of random stuff, a phone magnet that I put on my lid, some batteries. Um, that's not prescription pills, that's just Tylenol. I just had that bottle laying around. Earbuds. Car keys, zip ties, Allen wrenches. A good buddy of mine that you guys may know just gave me this pencil torch. Haven't used it yet. But, of course, a rite of passage is going on to the Snap-on truck and buying something. I wanted to buy a butane torch. They didn't have one, so they had to order it. That'll be coming this Friday. So until then, forever grateful to Captain Ron to give me a torch. And then, uh, did you hear that? You guys know who my coworkers are now. It's not a secret. Little, <laughs> little pile of pliers here. Some automatic wire strippers. Did I hear a rust belt mechanic? What? What? Oh my gosh, it's rust belt mechanic! Oh my god! He's here, guys! It's rust belt! Where? Where? Now guys, can you believe that a mechanic he hired to work in his shop is making YouTube videos? That's weird, right? <laughs> Biting his style. That's never happened. Anyway, back to my little baby tool cart. Uh, channel locks, strippers, something else from SP Tools, which this all may be making sense now that you know who I work with. So guess where I got these from? Yep, you guessed it right. And then some vice grips. Always need vice grips. Some gloves. And then another Harbor Freight freebie. A little pick set. Will I use them? Haven't yet, but they're orange and free. And if it's free, then you know it's for me. Moving on down, a couple hammers. Gotta have a rubber mallet. And then just a uh, regular hammer. I've used it to wedge chisels and screwdrivers in. You can see a couple other socket rails back there that I don't have any sockets to put on. These were the impacts I came with. My 3.8 snap-on from like 50 years ago, as well as this random, actually, it's not random anymore. I now know it came from Harbor Freight. I didn't get it there, I've just had it forever. I think it was left in my dad's garage when I was like 17 or 18, and I just took possession of it. And then the bottom, 
some funnels, a box from that impact. You may be able to see another Harbor Freight tool. And this may be making more and more sense of why I love and hate them. Rags, gloves, fun stuff like that. And when you have a tool cart this small, you have to utilize everything. And so, on the side here, I have some band wrenches, mounted magnetic bar for all the different oil filter cups. Other side, tape measure, as well as a uh, air truck. So that's where I'm sitting at right now. And as you can see, the guys here, which you all know, is Captain Rom and Rust Belt. They got a nice big empty space made up for me. And that tool cart just doesn't quite fit, if you know what I mean. So be sure to subscribe, have the little bell notifications on, because there's gonna be something really cool coming up. And I'm guessing you can kind of figure that out. You look at my tool cart, you look at the space, you can assume there's going to be a massive update to this garage. So stay tuned guys, and until next time, keep on cranking.